Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here on the new news. I'm Kagan Harshi in for Andrea today. We're taking a look at a big change in the forecast as your weekend kicks off. You're going to hear from Miller Robson in a minute, but first. This afternoon, there's relief after fears of a nuclear catastrophe hit Ukraine following a fire at the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. Officials said the fire at the compound was in a training center and not at the plant itself. Reports say that Russian military forces now occupy that site. Ukraine called Russia a terrorist country that's reverted to nuclear terror. He said attacking the plant could lead to, quote, the end of Europe. Montana Congressman Matt Rosendale is voting against support for Ukraine. This after a resolution in the House did pass to provide humanitarian aid and support to the Ukrainian people. Two other Republicans also joined Rosendale. That resolution doesn't authorize any specific aid, but it does condemn the actions of Russian and Belarus leaders for the invasion. Violent crime is up and Missoula is no exception. Ranging from domestic violence to DUIs to homicides, criminal cases have surged in Missoula during the pandemic. The Missoula County Attorney says it's from drugs coming from out of state and even out of the country, with a jump of 43% of all crimes reported in Missoula County, them being violent crimes. Well, there's some controversy surrounding the name of a building on the campus of MSU Billings. McMullen Hall is named after the school's first president, Dr. Lynn McMullen, but recently uncovered documents show that McMullen supported the eugenics theory. That's the racist doctrine that was used by Nazis to justify the murder of millions of Jewish people. The university is now investigating and could choose to ultimately rename the building. Well, some promising news for those out in the cold this winter. The Whitefish Community Foundation awarded a $30,000 emergency grant to the Flathead Warming Center to replace that shelter's failing roof. The nonprofit warming center allows access for 40 people a night during the winter months. The leaking roof was discovered back in February. And that's today's Leading Look. Happy Friday, everybody. TGIF boom as we cruise on into the weekend. You know, spring a couple weeks away, but old man winter reminds us he's not done yet, which is good news for my farming and ranching friends because we could really use still some snow in spots. Here's your mountain snow water equivalent as of uh, right now. Look at that. St. Mary Milk, you're looking pretty good. Your numbers have gone up. Those areas shaded in green, including uh, Lower Clark Fork, uh, Flathead, your numbers have gone up as well. But you take a look at those areas in the yellow. Those numbers have gone down, so we've got some work to do there. Good news is we've got that cold front, backdoor cold front sweeping through. A lot of moisture to tap into. That means we've got snow, much needed snow in areas. We'll tell you how much and how long it's going to last. Coming up. 